Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, who willed that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering, grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his invisible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask you that supplicants, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotions and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come in knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. For I am speaking the truth, I am not lying, teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then, that in every place the men should pray, lifting up his holy hands without anger or arguments. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Hear the sound of my pleading when I cry to you, lifting up my hands toward you, holy shrine. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I find help. Then my heart exalts, and with me song I give him thanks. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and carry them forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders to the Jews to him, 
asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, he deserves to have you to do this for him. For he loves our nation and built a synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurions sent friends to him. Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messenger returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today's gospel, there is a topic that sometimes is unfamiliar, mostly for the people that are not Catholic, and sometimes among the people that are Catholic. And sometimes it's confusing when we do not understand this topic, and I am talking about the intercession. So in today's gospel, there was a centurion and he had a servant that was sick, and he loved that servant. But he thought that he was not worthy of approaching Jesus to ask him by himself to heal his servant. So he sent one of his friends or, or servants to Jesus to ask him for that favor. And this is something when we pray to God, sometimes we think we are worthy of God. And we are not worthy. Anybody is worthy of God to approach him directly and say to him prayers. We do that because God makes us worthy, not because we are worthy. So sometimes when the Protestants, for example, that they don't believe in the intercession of saints and the communion of saints, we do believe that in our church. They say, and even some Catholic, I have heard Catholics saying this, why do, you, do I have to ask the intercession of somebody when I can pray directly to God? And this is not entirely correct because intercession is very helpful. We are all a community of faith. We have brothers and sisters. We do believe in the same. And when I have a problem, I could ask Jesus directly Jesus, help me in such a problem that I have. But if I, ha if I find somebody to pray for me, and I, and I would say to my brother, hey, say a little prayer for me. I need somebody to pray for me, or many people, or as many people that can pray for me. And that works, because intercession is powerful. So sometimes we think we are worthy of God, and we prefer to go directly to God and pray to him, but when we have somebody else praying to us, God hears these, or God listens these prayers. So if you don't believe in the intercession, you have to change this um, way of, of thinking because the intercession is, it is powerful in our church. And when we read the Bible, we will find a lot of passages speaking about intercession. So this centurion, he sent maybe two or three of his servants to talk to Jesus. And then when Jesus says to him, I will go there, uh, I will go to your house, he said, I am not worthy to receive you here in my house. Just say the word wherever you are, and my servant will be, will be healed. This is faith. So he believed that Jesus could save him from any place Jesus was. And he received the intercession of his servants before, you know, uh, receiving the healing to his servants. 
but also his servants received the intercession of him. And you, we can see there a lot of intercessions happening. And Jesus didn't have to go there and, and see that uh, sick servant to heal him. This is the power of the intercession. And we do believe in, a, in the intercession of saints because we think that the saints are already facing God in heaven and they are over there worshiping God. So we are here on earth and we believe that they can intercede for each one of us. So if you have some struggles in your prayer, healing problems, uh, uh, health problems or any problems you may have, just grab one saint, the favorite you want, pray to him and ask him for intercession and you will receive the, the miracle you are, you are expecting, not from the saint, but from Jesus. Because the only one who performs miracles is Jesus. He's not a saint, he's not a blessed mother, only Jesus himself. My brothers and sisters, knowing that God welcomes our petitions, we humbly bring them before him. For our Holy Mother Church, may she be blessed with an increase in vocations to the priesthood and the religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are governed in the, in the civil sphere, may God's grace enable them, to, enable them in their servant duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. From all who suffer from mental or physical illness, may God grant them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we be strengthened and sanctified through God's word and the sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect for all human life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, May they know the peace and comfort of God's loving embrace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our special petitions and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we bring you these supplications, confident that you will hear them through our one mediator, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are the Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Amen. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing, be pleasing to you, O God, <clears throat> For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
<clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in, a, in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we praise you. The hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. <clears throat> O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears> Hosanna <throat> in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time <clears throat> he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the ministry of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a Lord worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, by taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Marlene Cusatis, and those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. This coming Wednesday, we will do the novena to St. Pellegrin. We stop doing this and we will have this every Wednesday after Mass, after the final blessing, uh, just to let you know. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To the we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to the we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. To the most gracious advocate, to nice of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. Your Son also commanded his friend to be made for people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at Queen of Heaven Parish to be and make disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission above all other things in our encounter with each person. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go forth, the mass is ended. Thanks be to God.